In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how much my vending machine business made. Also, I'm going to throw in how much the new business I've started in the last month has made. Stay to the very end. Are you a wage slave? Wage slavery describes a person dependent on wages or a salary for their livelihood, especially when wages are low, conditions are poor. Now, there is nothing wrong with working a nine to five. What I'm explaining is you have to have a exit plan. Get out of here, man. At least have some kind of goal to spool up some kind of passive income. So that's what this channel is about. I'm Dom the Vendor. Consider subscribing so you can watch the journey to where we can break the nine to five cycle. It's dark and early out here. And before we get these vending machines going, I'm gonna go ahead and get me some fuel. Yeah, can I have a grande shaken espresso made with sweet cream instead of 2%? And then can I have an extra shot of espresso on the side? Woo! Gotta love those Oklahoma sunrises. This is my little setup here. Got my computer, got my bin. Got all my inventory here, but let's get filling. The business vocabulary term we'll go over today is profit. So there are two types of profit, gross profit and net profit. Simply, gross profit is all the money that you have made subtracting labor and materials. Net profit is all the profit you make after all the after all the other stuff like your overhead. That could be anywhere from an assistant salary or bills, utilities, anything like that. Net profit, how much money did you make after all the expenses were paid? Then getting this loaded all up here, Pretty easy, lightweight stuff. And you know I gotta head crack that Red Bull. Man, gotta love the sound of that V8. About to hit this Walmart. Gotta get some Mountain Dew and some Rice Krispies. At my first location here, and this is just a uh, click and play. Easy stuff. And you can see I haven't been here in a while. They completely demolished all this right here those monsters have no idea what they're selling what do you think i should do instead of monsters something that they'll sell so the surprise new business i started was actually pest control so you can see right here i started this bank account on september 5th and up until now this bank account has received over five thousand dollars in credit so what i'm doing is i'm just funneling everything every piece of profit i'm just putting right back into the business the advertising trying to spool up more clients this this pest control business is a monster and come next spring easily we're going to be pulling twenty thirty thousand dollars in revenue a month so stay tuned yeah i got everything filled up here you can see this is probably like two three weeks it's going to be all empty again and that was a fat cash pool like i said i haven't been there in a while this thing is also absolutely demolished never seen it this empty so as you know, vending machines are not my only business. I also have the pest control, as you've just seen. My main bread and butter is actually construction work. So I have over three years of operating a business uh, by myself. And I get a lot of emails uh, asking certain questions. Yeah. <laughs> well, not a lot, just a few. I thought I'd offer. If anybody wants to jump on a Zoom call, I do $20 for 20 minutes. My email's in the description. So just hit me up and we can jump on a Zoom call. Any questions that you might have, any kind of consultation, any kind of information I can offer you, I can answer all your questions in detail. Got it all nice and filled here. As you can see, every single slot first time, you can see back cash pool. Yes, and also a little bit of change as well. And then you know you gotta keep it clean. They say them work. So as you may or may not know, I have a bum location. It does. It makes about two hundred fifty dollars. I'm trying to move that machine to somewhere more profitable. So this is a TSL plasma. I got a little goodie back here, and hopefully I can get these guys. To let me put my machine in here. Uh, this is my second time. I fell it up with them numerous of times. Speak to a member of our helpful staff. Please press zero. Hi, this is Dom. I'm with the vending machine company. I was actually calling for the manager. I think her name was Nina, she said. So hopefully I can get them to go ahead and let us put it in there. So let's see. All right, it was a no-go this time. They have to submit my information to corporate and get approval or whatever. Um, she did say the same thing last time I was up here, but she was on maternity leave. So we gonna see, I'm gonna come back in a week and see what she says. All right, I'm outside of the bank right now, about to get discounted up and get a deposit. I literally have not made a deposit since the last time I made a video. So this is about, I guess like 46-ish days worth of revenue. So I wanna talk about the fear of failure. We cannot let the thought of failure stop us from acting. So whatever you have in mind right now, just 
do it, just start it. And that's the reason why I started this YouTube channel. I'm not speaking to you from a person with a million subscribers making 150,000, $200,000 a month. I'm speaking to you as someone with very little influence, someone with very even little cash flow. There's times where I don't know how I'm gonna cover my overhead. I don't know how I'm gonna pay that next bill or pay that next expense. This struggle to me is a better struggle than the alternative. If you are starting out your journey, then this is something you can look at and feel motivated. We can feel motivated together. Drop what you're doing in the comments. All right, so just got it all counted up and the total was $772. The payment for all three machines this month is gonna be 300 bucks. What's left over is completely profit, which is 435. All my credit card sales, I used all that to buy all the product. And then I paid my data plan with the credit card sales too. So literally my vending machine bank account right now is at zero. So for the month we profited $435. Check out my other vending machine blog right here.